Wavelength Optimized Periodontal Treatment The minimally invasive way to treat moderate and advanced periodontal disease without flap surgery. Flapless minimally invasive surgery can be performed with the PowerLase AT to produce bone and periodontal tissue attachment and regeneration to a beautiful healthy condition. This can be done without pain and swelling to our patients. This allows a general practitioner to keep these procedures in-house. Notice the over-contoured crown on this bridge. We are going to open up the distal interproximal area of this crown so that she can keep it clean. Notice that we have about a 7 millimeter pocket in this area. The first step is to remove the diseased epithelial lining to one millimeter shy of the bottom of the pocket. During this procedure we are also biostimulating the tissues which is very very important for tissue regeneration. The erbium laser in this case is used for the fine scale. We start at the top of the sulcus and working our way down on the root surface till we come in contact with calculus and then we tap off the deposit. Not only are we removing calculus but we are also decontaminating the root surface and getting rid of the endotoxins and doing a substantial amount of bacterial reduction in the pocket. The erbium laser PIPS effect removes most of the calculus and softens it so that the ultrasonics can remove it very quickly and very easily. If you don't get all the calculus off, you will not get the results. Be sure to use a very soft touch with these ultrasonics because they are noted to dig in to the root surface. If there is any residual epithelial lining left, this is the time that you would go in and remove it. Although, in majority of cases, this step is not needed. The fourth step is decontamination and surface modification of the dentinal surface, starting at the top of the, of the sulcus, moving all the way down to the bottom of the pocket. Now dissect the periodontal attachment down to the bone. This will release the regenerative factors that are needed. A endodontic explorer is used to corticate the bone, which provides angiogenesis to supply the clot and also to enhance the regenerative factors coming from the bone. The second pass with the NDAG laser is used to start the formation of the clot. Place the tip in the sulcus to the bottom, activate the laser and gently pull it out in one to two seconds. This will start the clot formation. Notice how the blood starts to turn a slightly darker color. At this point is when you stop and start placing the collagen. The inherent property of collagen is the ability to promote hemostasis. In contact with blood, collagen is known to cause aggregation of the platelets, which binds in large numbers to the collagen fibrils. The aggregated platelets degranulate, releasing collagen factors that enable, together with plasma factors, the formation of a good fibrin clot. Barricade or pericryl can be used to protect the clot for the first 10 to 14 days during maturation and the time that the osteoblast and the fibroblast proliferate into the clot. After the first two weeks, the patient can go back to normal hygiene procedures without worrying about injuring the surgical site. The video is now showing the curing of the barricade.